Hey guys, so I thought I'd use this time my first, my uh, second video. I did my first introduction video to vlogging with Sandra Scott. And I thought I'd use this time to kind of talk about my experience um, traveling by myself, traveling alone. Um, I know a lot of people have questions when it comes to traveling. And so I thought I'd use this time to kind of talk about my experience with traveling, um, how do I book flights um, when I travel, um, and what's the advantage to traveling alone versus traveling with uh, friends or family. Um, so, um, many of you know that I uh, took a trip in August for my birthday um, to Cabo, so I did a international trip by myself. and. Um, I know a lot of you guys are aware that I used to be a flight attendant, so I'm kind of pretty experienced with traveling alone because as a flight attendant, really, you, whenever you travel, um, you kind of travel alone, although you have other flight attendants and the pilots that you normally um, stay at the same hotel, but technically, um, when you go to your hotel room, you're by yourself. You don't share a hotel room. Um, normally, when you go to eat dinner or something like that, yeah, you have those flight attendants that you know, you make friends, you become friends, and you guys kind of hang out together. But for the most part, you're traveling alone. So um, so anyway, I guess that's kind of why I really didn't have a real fear about going internationally um, and traveling by myself. I was afraid because I was thinking like, okay, well, I go to Cabo. I don't know how to speak Spanish. So when someone speaks to me, what the heck am I going to do? Well, I mean, most countries now, they have people that work at the airport that speak English as well as uh, whatever their uh, native language is. Um, also, uh, whenever you're traveling to like hotels and things like that, they have someone that, of course, is going to speak English as well. So you don't have to worry about trying to figure that out. Now, of course, when I got to the airport so i'll just start out um i was a little afraid about telling people that i was traveling alone because i didn't want a stranger at the airport to like be like oh she's traveling alone i could kidnap her well i mean i met i was actually on a on my flight into cabo um i sat in a i sat next to a young guy and a young girl um, and they both were traveling to Cabo as well. And they had friends that they were traveling with. Um, the guy, he had three other friends that he was traveling with. And the girl, she had some other girls that she was traveling with. And they were not staying at the same hotel that I was staying at. But however, um, whenever we introduced ourselves or whatever, of course, you know, you're on the plane, you're on vacation. So uh, everybody's, you know, kind of excited and talking and meeting, things like that. So we were drinking on the plane, flying in, and they asked me, were, were I, was I traveling with someone? And I said, no, I'm actually traveling by myself. And they were like, oh my God, high five, you know, like, you are really brave. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I kind of am. Um, and so that kind of made me feel good about myself because it's like, you know, people don't do that often. People don't really travel by themselves. Um, so there was like, well, hey, you know, so the guy, he was like, hey, well, my friends and I, we're traveling to Cabo, so if you want to hang out with us, feel free. We have a boat Saturday that we're going to go out on. We rented it for the whole day. If you want to come and hang out, put your bathing suit on, you can come hang out with us. Well, I already had plans to do some excursions, excursions that day, so I kind of skipped out and passed out on or whatever. But, whenever I, but I did utilize them because they were fluent in Spanish, so... Um, when we got to the airport, I didn't know how I was going to be able to catch a taxi to my hotel and come to find out my hotel was about an hour away from the airport. Um, I started, I stayed at the, um, Hard Rock Los, Los Cabos. Um, I'm hoping, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, um, it was about an hour away from the airport so um i didn't want to travel in a taxi by myself so thankfully um there was a group like they had a group shuttle that you can take but 
my problem was I didn't know how to go to the counter and speak to them in Spanish to be able to book the shuttle or because you had to like go to the counter after you um, got through TSA and all of that or you got through customs, I'm sorry, um, at the airport. Once you got through customs, you go down, they bring you down and everybody kind of disperses to go get their taxes and things like that. So once I got down, the guy came over and he was spoke and he told me, hey, what, you know, hotel you going to and he conveyed that to the shuttle guy at the counter and they set me up and I paid for my shuttle so when it stood outside and thankfully I was excited because there was a group of other people that were also going so I felt like oh my god I don't have to travel in a taxi by myself so somebody else is going to the same hotel that I'm going to so great and actually it was a younger couple as well and we actually became friends um, and we hung out in the lobby because when we got to the hotel, a hurricane had just come through. <laughs> crazy, 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 right? Um, so a hurricane literally had just come through Cabo, um, Mexico. Um, literally, I'm talking about before our flight landed, a hurricane had just come through. And so the hotel was had um, damages and the rooms were messed up and needed cleaning and so um, we actually spent my first I actually spent my first day in Cabo in the hotel lobby for about six to seven hours because I ended up getting a really really nice week um yeah it was by, i was by myself but i wanted to if i'm gonna travel i wanted it to be a nice experience and i wanted to be relaxed so i ended up booking a really nice suite um had it was um ocean side ocean view um you know all, it was a nice room i actually will share a video um for you guys to see so that you can kind of know uh if you're interested in traveling to um cabo Hard Rock, it's a really nice hotel to stay in. It just was, it was just unfortunate that um, the hurricane had just come through and that was a bad experience for me that we had to sit in the hotel lobby until they got our rooms clean. Um, so the problem was that the hurricane had just come through. So a lot of the employees that worked at the um, Hard Rock were not able to get to work because their homes, some of them had been flooded or some of the roads had been flooded, so they were not able to come. So the staff that was there had to stay over and clean rooms and things like that. And um, at the time, I was really aggravated and really upset because I'm thinking about myself, like I'm paying all this money to stay here and I'm having to basically sleep in the lobby. Um, so they thought that they would just get us drunk and leave us hanging out in the lobby the whole time. But however, it worked out. Finally, I did get a room and I got in my room and it was nice. So I was happy about that. And, but by that time I was ready to go to sleep. So that was my day. That was my f first day there. And pretty much it was, they, you know, spent in the hotel lobby. So I didn't really get to do much, but the next day I had excursions, uh, which was great. So, um, remember I told you I met two friends on the way to the shuttle um and they also had book excursions that same day so um although we didn't go together my excursions were private um they had excursions but we were doing the same thing we both were doing horseback riding and the atv um car ride however they went with a group and then i did mine on a private tour uh so i went completely by myself so i did the horseback riding by myself and i did the um the ATV ride by myself. Um, and the great thing about that is that whenever you're traveling alone, you don't have to wait on anyone else to decide what they want to do. Because normally that's what you'd like. When you go with friends, you have to, you know, go back and forth like, well, does that person want to do this? Or, you know, do you, you want to do this? And I want to do this, but I don't want to do that. Um, what we want to eat? What do you want to eat? And you have to wait on to decide what that person wants to eat great thing about traveling alone is you don't have to worry about that because you know you, if you when you want to get up and go eat you get up and go eat when you want to go here and sightsee and do this you want to do that if you don't want to sightsee if you want to just sit by the pool and have drinks hey you can do that you don't have to wait on anyone to um decide on that for you so that was the great thing about traveling alone 
Um, so I did all of my excursions and I came back to the hotel that night by that time or that evening, late, late that evening. And by that time I was really tired because it was a full day of excursions, like hours. Um, I think the horseback riding was like maybe a couple hours and then the ATV riding was a couple hours. And so you have to sit there and wait for the shuttle to come back and pick you up because the place where you do the excursions is about um, an hour, 45 minutes to, minute to an hour away from the hotel. So you have to wait on them to come back and pick you up. So they give you a time as to when they'll be back to pick you up and then they bring you back to the hotel. And by that time, you're just ready to have dinner and kind of go to sleep. So that's kind of what I did. I ended up going to a restaurant. I want to say the name of it is called Toro's or something like that, but it's like a steakhouse. Um, this day I ended up having a filet and I think a lobster and filet or something like that. Um, it was really good for, to say it was a resort resort food, um, but it was really, really good. It was really delicious. Um, I had a martini, but it was like a martini, but it wasn't like mixed with anything green. So it, it was very strong. And um, after I had a few sips of that, it was pretty much time to go to bed. Um, and of course, being that I'm alone, I still want to be aware of my surroundings, so I didn't want to get drunk and not be able to make it back to my room. Um, so um, that's just some of the things that when you're traveling by yourself, you have to just remember that I can't get drunk because I'm by myself and I don't have anyone to take care of me. So you just want to still be mindful of your surroundings. Okay, so I kind of talked about like how I do my travel. So whenever I do my travel, um, I usually use booking.com. I use booking.com to book my hotels and I look for hotels that normally do um, no prepayment needed um, and uh, no cancellation fees and so you just pay at that hotel um, and pretty much if you put in in booking.com whatever city and or whatever place you're traveling to it's going to bring up hotels um, and you just want to look at the reviews of that. Um, I try to use familiar um, hotels like if it's a hotel that I know is in the United States if I'm traveling abroad then I want to use a hotel room that or a hotel that I know would be here like for instance if it's a Hard Rock then I know Hard, Hard Rocks are normally nice hotels so I would wouldn't mind staying in a Hard Rock in um, Puerto Rico or wherever um, if it's a Marriott um, JW Marriott or um, a Wyndham or something like that. Um, I know it's a pretty nice hotel. So if I'm traveling to, um, let's say, um, Dominican or something like that, uh, I know that that's going to be a pretty nice, decent hotel. I try to stay away from like villas and things that I haven't heard of because um, just because you just don't know what you're going to get when you get there. Um, you can go and look for reviews, but sometimes those review, reviews aren't updated and they just don't give you the best idea of where you're staying at. Um, another thing I'd like to do is I like to go because Facebook and social media now is like your best friend. So I will go to Instagram and I will put in the name of that hotel in Instagram and search it or in Facebook and you can find groups. And people will be talking about like up to date posts about um, how they're going to travel. Oh, I'm traveling to Hard Rock um, in Cabo. So, um, let's say January the 19th through the 20th. Um, or I'm already here. And this is what's going on here now and there. So you can get up to date information about what's going on at that hotel. So before you arrive, you kind of have an idea. Okay. And people will give their honest reviews and things like that. So that's the best way when you're traveling. Those are the best things to look at. Um, another thing is when I book my flights, um, I never book round trips um, because um, every cent counts. I believe when traveling so um, I always book one-way flights so I'll book a one-way flight to say I'm traveling to New York so I'll book one-way flight from MSY to JFK or MSY to LGA and I know you probably figure out how does she know what um, 
what's the acronym for the airports, but that's because I used to be a flight attendant and we have to remember that. But JFK, of course, is John F. Kennedy. Um, LGA is LaGuardia. So anyway, um, I'll say MSY, of course, is New Orleans. So MSY to JFK, I'll do, if I'm leaving on, say, I was leaving on tomorrow, going to JFK, I would book MSY to JFK and I would search. Um, but I will do that certain what days of the week. You want to book your flights on May on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, I think is the, with the days that you get the cheapest rates. Also, you want to remember that flying in on a weekend is going to be a lot higher than flying in during the weekday. Um, so when traveling, um, you want to look at flying or planning your trip to fly in maybe from Sunday to Tuesday or Wednesday versus from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whatever. Because, of course, the flights are going to be higher if you're only going to be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Of course, that's hotels and flights. Hotels and flights are ex more expensive when you're traveling during the weekday than, I'm, I'm sorry, during, when you're traveling on the weekend than when you're traveling during the weekday. So, for instance, if you're going to go to New York from New Orleans, you want to probably look at traveling from Sunday to Tuesday versus from Friday till Sunday um, because you'll get a cheaper rate. Um, and then, of course, you'll book your one-way flight there and you'll get a cheaper rate. And then you'll go back and look for maybe, and you don't have to travel on the same airline. So, like, round trips are going to be like, you're going to book on that one airline. You know, you can get cheaper flights by flying you may fly on southwest going there but fly back on get a 79 dollar flight on spirit and come back or say say you're doing a quick weekend trip and you want to fly to new york you may do i'm um, flying from um, new orleans to new york on spirit for 79 bucks and fly back on american because you're going to have some bags when you come back because you may do a little shopping so you're going to do um american um, coming back and you may get that for $169 versus um, doing a round trip where you may, may spend $450 on a round trip on American. Um, so that's how I book my flights um, just to kind of give you guys some information. And also you can also look at like, hey, if you want to break down, like you may not have all your money, you know, you know, you're going, you know, you want to go. But um, I want to do, I want to um, give myself a chance to say, go ahead and book that one way there. You got that flight secured. A couple weeks later, payday comes and you got a month before you're traveling. Go ahead and book that one way back. And then there you go. You got your whole trip paid for. Um, so, hey, that's just some good information that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I hope this helps someone in traveling. Um, don't be afraid to travel alone. It's the best self-care that you can truly give yourself uh, a peace of mind. If you need a reset um, in 2021, definitely consider traveling by yourself, taking a trip. Don't be afraid to take a trip. If you have money to spend on um, doing something um, for yourself, I truly recommend you using that money to take a trip and just hitting the reset hitting the reset button and that can definitely make all of the difference so anyway that's just some information i want to share with you guys hope you guys have a great one good night